Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I haven't set up a boot camp partition on a Mac since, well, I first got my Mac Mini. Uh, so it was the beta copy of boot camp. Uh, this is uh, Ponzi's MacBook Pro, and uh, Boot Camp is a software that has officially been released by Apple that will enable you to boot your Mac to either full-on full Windows, as if it was just a regular old Windows PC, or to the Mac operating system, Mac OS X. And uh, if you can hear the uh, construction noise in the background, I thought it was uh, fitting since we we're kind of... Uh, installing software and building things in that fashion we would have some sound effects in the background besides it's hot in my home office so I'm opening it up so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to spotlight and we're gonna perform a search for the boot camp tool we're just gonna type in boot and see what pops up ah there we go boot camp assistant there we go and hit enter then it says you want a print installation and setup guide. No, we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to press continue. It says, what do you want to do? How do you want to partition it? Do you want to divide it equally? Do you want to use 32 gigabytes? What's the deal? 32 gigs, whoo, that's pretty beefy. But uh, given that Ponzi is going to be doing uh, various and sundry things on Windows, uh, we likely have to give her uh, more space. So uh, 32 gigs should be sufficient considering there's 91 gigabytes that are still free on Mac OS X. Uh, actually, let me, uh, I think I'm going to go down to 25. I think 25 is going to be fine. Sorry, I just, I, I'm kind of crazy that way. I press the partition button. It runs through, and it says it's partitioning the disk. That's my music. That's not the uh, Mac music. Uh, for That's partitioning music, since I don't have my partitioning soundtrack with me today, um, unfortunately. That's on my uh, Linux computer, the Zonboo PC, over on the other side of the room. You can't see it, you can only see my hand waving around, gesticulating wildly. And in a matter of what seems like hours, This is why God created Solitaire. Well, it's working because I got the whole gray candy cane thing going on there. Prompting me for a password or something? No, no password down there. There we go. Now it says, insert your Windows installation disk to start installation. You'll need an authentic 32-bit Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition or Professional with Service Pack 2 or later, or Windows Vista Home Basic, Home Premium Business, or Ultimate Disk, and forget that. Uh, after you've installed and set up Windows, insert your Mac OS X Leopard install disk to install additional drivers and other software for Windows. So I've got uh, XP Service Pack 2 burned to this particular disk. It's a backup disk. And yes, it's a legit copy. And we're going to press Start Installation. It's likely going to ask me for my administrative password. Let's find out. I'm going to zoom back out again. DVD drive is spinning up. I've got the spinning beach ball of doom. Ah, here we go. Give me an apple. Apple. Ew, 
God, I feel so dirty. Kind of leaves a sour taste in your mouth, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe that's the coffee. <sighs> Setup is loading files. Of course, it's installing Windows. So this is one thing you have to understand about the Mac. It's a PC, but it's also a Mac. But it's also a PC, and you can dual boot between Windows as it's setting up right now and Mac OS X on the same computer. Full on Windows. In fact, it's been said that the Mac makes a better PC than most PCs out there. Not to take away from our partners and sponsors who happen to be PC people. And, might I add, VMware has got the ability for me to access this Windows installation, this boot camp partition on the hard drive from within Mac OS X. That's cool. So now we're just setting up Windows. I, I think I'm going to close the video out now because uh, this is kind of uh, all I really wanted to show you, how easy it was to set up Windows on a PC. This is just going to run through the regular old Windows installation. That's all. See you later.